It's time for our One Million Cups Business Spotlight, sponsored by Simmons Bank. Joining us now is the founder of the Midwest Dweller, Caitlin Palmquist, and photographer Allie Jepson. Welcome to the show, ladies. You're adorable. I love your website. Thank you. I'm going to start with you because this okay. is your baby. This yes. is your business. Yes. Tell us about the Midwest Dweller. So, Midwest Dweller is a kind of sponsorship and promotional aspect of um, art within the Midwest. It, we feature artists all through the Midwest region, primarily through Springfield because we are from here and we love this city. So we just, we promote them and put their work out there for other people to see. Mm -hmm. And so. artists, what kind of artists? Is it strictly, you know, painting acrylics or is it photography? Right, we do a wide range, pretty much anything. Um, we try to stick within a certain aesthetic, just a modern up and coming artist who are a little creative and unique. Now, I know you're a photographer. Yes. And you've been involved with Caitlin for a while now. How yes. did you get involved? Um, at the very beginning, when she was sort of putting together the initial website, she reached out to me and asked me to, like, give her photos for it. Um, and it was the first time somebody had told me, I want to pay you for your work and then promote it. So she started from the very beginning just with me already looking at artists and telling them you're very valuable and worth something and we want to show everybody else that so that's got to feel good yes it really that has did. to be like yeah. that validation like you know i love your work because you've been working at it for a while yes. and to have somebody else validate that it's got to mean a lot yeah yeah it was really incredible and she's continued to do that with every artist that we encounter so it's stayed on the same path that is so encouraging because i know there's a lot of people watching who maybe want to don't want to take that next step to pursue it because they're afraid sure. they're not good. Right. Sure. But it's good to have that. Now, she's a photographer. Mm -hmm. Are you taking other people? How do they submit if they're out there watching and they, you know, I'm a photographer, I'm an artist, I want to be a part of this. How sure. do they contact you? Um, they can find us on Instagram and connect with us that way, or they can look at us on our website, which is just Midwest, themidwestdweller.com, mm -hmm. and fill out the contact form. So, so there's a contact form on the website that yes. they can submit, and then they'll get in touch with you, and yes. you can review their work? Yes. Is there a review panel, or how does that work? Um, so there's five of us on the Midwest Dweller team, and we kind of go over the different artists that are submitted and decide who is going to be a part, just based on a simply, like, a an aesthetic basis, mm -hmm. right. <laughs> if they fit in with the look that we're going for. Well, so. Right, yeah. Sure. How many do you have currently? Um, ooh. Mm. We, I work with about 40 different artists right now throughout the Midwest. We have one in almost every Midwestern state, so it's That's a lot. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, and it's, it's a minimal process, but it's good. That's really good, and I know you have a big event coming up. Yes. So yeah. tell us about the event and what it's for. Yeah, do you want to start? Um, yeah, we are doing it at the Urban Roots Farm. Now, where is that? It's in the middle of town. Yeah, it's on State Street in Grant. Mm -hmm. um, it's an acre farm that's it's completely like fenced in. They have uh, live animals there, and it's just it's a really neat little <laughs> farm amazing. in the middle of town. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's there at what date, and what are you going to be doing there at the event? It's August 24th, Friday, uh, next Friday, and it'll be from 7 to 10 p.m. Mm -hmm. And what can people expect to do at this Dweller event? Sure. Um, we're going to have 30 different local artists um, in the Springfield primary area. And then we'll also have three local bands playing the entirety of the event. We'll have Maze Gelateria, the Ozark Mountain Flower Truck. Um, and then we have a bubblesmith coming from Arkansas. What is a bubblesmith? <laughs> Wait, I, I've heard of a blacksmith, yeah. but not a bubblesmith. So he can... He makes these ginormous bubbles that you can like actually stand in, um, or these different like formations of bubbles. So it's big pop a bubble from so Arkansas. So you can get inside the giant bubble and then pop it. Yeah, yeah. Do you, if you, a bit, to. Do you get a little bit wet? A little yeah, bit? maybe a little, <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, will your artwork be featured there? No, I'm actually emceeing the event. You're yes. emceeing, okay. Yes. But if somebody wanted to come and look at the artwork, is any of it for sale or is all it just to it. look? Oh, it's all for sale. All yes. for sale, yes. And you're supporting local yes. artists mm -hmm. that need to get out there and mm -hmm. get discovered. Absolutely. So these 30 different artists will have different um, things available for purchase. We even have somebody doing, like, um, glass work there with a torch. So it's going to be very interactive, and it'll be fun. Mm -hmm. It'll be really fun. It's so cool. And you get to support local artists. Yes. yes. See a lot of different art that maybe wouldn't have been, been exposed to before. Yes, absolutely. So once again, tell us the date and the times and where it's at one more time. Yes. Friday, August 24th from 7 to 10 p.m. It's $5 to get in. Kids 13 and under are free. 
So, yeah. 13, only five dollars to get in? Yes. Yeah. Only five. Only five dollars to get in, and you're supporting a local business. Now, I need to ask you too. You, you did present at One Million Cups. Yes. How, did, how was that experience for you? Um, it's very, very encouraging. Uh, you get community members coming in and telling you just kind of what they think about your business um, in a supportive and positive way. It's kind of nerve wracking because maybe it's your first time presenting, yeah. but um, it's all positive feedback. So you got good feedback oh, and yeah. it helped your business. Definitely. It motivated me to be more energized by what I'm doing and maybe some things I've been thinking about for a while. That's I'll awesome. To do more, so. Well, we love One Million Cups around here. We yes. love it. And thank you guys so much. Make sure you check that at Event uh, Midwest Dweller. Caitlin and Allie, thank you so yeah, much for coming thank in. Thank you. And check out their website, too. It's a lot yeah. of fun. Thanks, Thanks ladies.